What's going on guys, it's SJ Sports, welcome your faces back to a brand new video, as you can see we're back with Youth Academy Regions, this is the Trammy Rovers career mode, this is episode number 2, and um, thank you for all your continued support on, the, well your support on episode 1, if it is your first time around here boys, remember hit that subscribe button, ding on the notification bell, and also new and old subscribers, please leave a like and rating on the video, that will be greatly appreciated, because you guys went ham, you guys hit over 50 likes, I want you guys to do exactly the same, for this video so just just leave a thumbs up be greatly greatly appreciated now this should have been coming out on friday night it's still now today is sunday i've had to redo my windows pc and because there was loads of stuff on there that i didn't really use so it was just easy to sort of just uninstalling stuff i reset windows downloaded all my software because there are some software issues um so touch wood all that's up and running it was what was happening was is i was losing frames galore i wasn't even getting 30 frames i was getting literally like 10 to 11 frames per second so when i was recording uh the, the raw file the gameplay was just not visible i do drop a few frames at present so they might see that in gameplay just a heads up but i am looking and i'm working on it to get that fixed asap so from episode one then somebody did say that i do need to start this northern island scout uh, experience one star judgment at three star uh, i am actually going to recall him and i'm going to recall them all because i like all of my players to come back uh, on the same date, so this will be the first I'm doing this. So, behind the back, and we're sacked, we've got new scouts in. It will be the third, and plus, it gives me the opportunity to send out scouts to your preferred destination. So, we'll look at that when these three scouts are back. So, boys, this is the starting 11. Then, what we've gone with, we've gone with the 4 3 3 formation, which I like playing on Ultimate Teams. We're going to try it out on career mode. Uh, your front three is DuPont, Colombo, and Jensen. Uh, a pretty decent front three, to say the least, especially down the wings. Uh, Colombo could really do with his overall boosting, but I have faith in this guy. Uh, Griffiths and Lee and Jackson are our midfield, midfield three. We do. We are playing a left winger at left back because we don't currently have a left back at the club. Uh, two real life players in the centre half positions, but we're going to sort that out in a minute. Uh, Gallo, right wing, playing at right back because our right back is injured. He was injured last season in Lewis Cook. Unfortunately, he was injured. And I've gone with Neves in goal for him. So that's looking okay. I'm happy with that. Also, what I've done as well is because, if you don't know, FIFA 19, when it, when you promote players from a youth academy into your first team, they basically have the default settings for uh, boots, appearance, everything like that. So everything's just the default. All our players would look the same. I've gone in, I've just randomised it. I've not really done anything. So I want you boys to leave a comment in the comment section below with the player, his team number, and what appearance we should do. And eventually, as the series moves forward, we will get into that. If you guys, if there's five different people that request request uh, five different players, then I'll do that for the next episode or the episode after that because I will be recording in bulk today to try and make up for the last couple of days with my recording issues that I've have been having. Right, so we're in our Youth Academy then, let's take a look at what we can do, and I know what I'm going to do straight away. These two are going to be promoted to the first team and going to be our centre-backs. Oh, well, one of them is going to be our centre-back with Lee. I'm going to drop Lee into the centre-back position, and then one of these guys, it depends on who's who, or what they what they actually look like, or the stats and stuff. Uh, we'll promote him to the senior team, and also Marcus Lewis will promote him. Let's go back, let's just go to our squad, go over to our squad hub, and let's just take a look at them. So we've got Lewis then, Marcus Lewis, oh, he's a five-star skiller, three-star on the weak foot. Uh, he's, he is height, six foot, preferred foot is right, attacking work rate is medium, defensive work rate is high. Uh, acceleration is 74, jumping 61, sprint speed is decent. Um, he's not too bad. Another little thing I've just noticed, look in the top left-hand corner, it tells you currently how many squad, how many players are in your squad and how many players for each position. We have nine midfielders, three goalkeepers, five defenders and five attackers so far. On to Thomas Breen. Then he's three-star, three-star. So what I'm probably going to do is he's going to be our centre-back partnership with Lee. He's five foot 11, three-star, three-star in skill and the weak foot. Medium and high defensive work rates. Uh, and looking at them, doesn't look great. Uh, a lot of reds on the technical attributes. But I will be training him up to get his slide tackle, his standing tackle, um, and things like that. We'll try to improve. Hopefully we'll improve him before we play our first game. 
So I received an email from the Trammy Board. Great job with our youth programme. We at the club are thrilled with the progress our youth academy has been having. We are hoping to sign a future star for our team and you can and you have accomplished it. Great. So manager rating is a little bit low. We're going to take a look at our objective then for the season. Uh, sign at least two players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than an average overall rating of players currently in our first uh, currently in the same position in our first team. Uh, finish mid-table and reach the Emirates Cup. Financial, wow. They want us to finish the season off with a profit margin of £17.6 million. Um, it is on medium and keep player uh, keep player salary growth under 30%. Uh, the rest of them are all low. So, they're having an absolute giraffe at that. Finish the season with a profit margin of 17.6. Really? Really? Two sideboard? Okay then, so we've got another email from our board. Transfer budget increase. They have up, they have increased our bud transfer budget by 1.25 million, which gives us a total budget of four million pounds, which they're hoping we are going to put to good use to improve the squad. Damn right you are, and right on to queue, right on time. All our free scouts are back, ready to be scouted. Let's go over and let's sign ourselves a new scout. Let's sack the Northern Irish scout, sign a new scout, and send the three scouts out to new destinations. Brendan Brannan then, you are now fired. Let's see what we have available to us. We have some decent scouts. We've got a five star, four star, a four star, five star, a three star, three star. I'm gonna go with Harrison Hill, because I like English players. I like to send scouts out to England a lot. I like to get English players in the team. Uh, the Russian scout we can leave. But experience is good because it tells us in the top, well, basically the top, it says more experienced scouts will find a large number of players, but an ex a judgment, a scout with better judgment will find higher player quality. So Harrison Hill, you are now hired. Right then, let's send our scouts out to their destinations. And I've got the comment section open from the last episode. We're going to go with Unknown Gaming. He wants us to go to Scotland. We're going to go for six months. We're not going to search for any type of. We're going to search for any type of player because he hasn't specified in the comment. So I'll just leave it at any. So Scotland, you are set up. Harrison Hill's first job then will be to Super Cools. One and truly loved, beloved, uh, loved Saudi Arabia, and he wants us to go for. No, 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 no. He wants us to go for a physical, strong player in Saudi Arabia. And then our Greek scout, then, let me just take a quick look at this. Uh, da, 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 let's just take a quick look. We'll go with Rochi TV, then. He wants us to go to Australia, Sparring DK's uh, home country. Uh, has, he, has he said anything? Um, Australia for physically strong. Okay, we'll go again. Six months, and they're physically strong from Australia. Three scouts in, three new destinations, boys. Things are starting to look up. And also, whilst we're here, let's go over to our catalogue in a second when it lets me. And let's get a Scout Future Star for this season. Redeem item. Okay. So Scout Future Star then is in the works. Last time he brought back Jensen. His potential is a little bit broken. But we'll see what we can do with him in training. So there we go. Scout has been dispatched. Bit of transfer news from us. Free agents I went through. And this is the best player that I could find for the positions we needed for the side. Centre back. We don't currently have a centre back at the club. Regen player anyway. I think we have one. Um, so I looked at this guy, Diego Martinez Gill, looking okay. He's got, he's, he's quite good on the sprint speed as well, 73. I think we're going to go in for and place an offer for him, give him a contract. We are about to negotiate for this free agent, Martinez Gill. Uh, recommended wage is 1.4. Squad roll, I am going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with important because he's only centre-back at the club at the minute. I would like him to be part of the show. Right, okay, we'll skip all this. We've seen all this before. Great, that's what I was hoping for. My client is happy with the role we're offering him. Good news. Negotiations going well so far. Uh, now let's see how many years. Okay, uh, I'm going to go in with a four. I'm going to go in with four years. Uh, four years, yes. Yes, that's what we were after. Let's carry on. Okay. Uh, discard release clause as well. We're going to get rid of that. Um, let's get rid of that. Uh, right, so he's ex... Recommended wage is one. Let me get this right. One point four million. So I'm going to go in with one point three. Uh, no, in fact, let's go one point two. Give him a sign-on bonus of five four thousand pounds. Let's see what they say. Uh, submit offer. Please don't storm out. 
that's a fair offer. My client is happy with that. There we go. Job done. Our first actual signing then for Tram Rovers is Gil. Let's go over and take a proper look at his stats and stuff from the squad hub. Let's go to his attributes. Uh, he's a centre-back. There he is. He's got three-star weak foot, two-star skill. Moves not too bad. Um, looking okay. I'm looking okay. His short pass is pretty decent for a centre-back for 58 overall. 51. Come on, boys. Let's just be real here. Short power. Short power is quite good. Uh, slide tackle is 60. Stand tackle is 55. Brilliant. I'm happy with our purchase. And as you can see then in that squad, let me just quickly go back. This is what I was talking about. When you see how he's got the black and white boots and it's like a default thing. Um, sometimes they'll have the socks up. Sometimes they'll have the socks over the knees. Sometimes I'll have them down. Uh, shirt is untucked. I'll go quickly randomise and edit this guy so he's ready for our first game of the season. Scout has returned with the young player that he feels will come be a world class. Let's take a look. Let's just see if I can spot him. There he is. Oh, yes. Lorenzo van der Linden, then. Looking okay. He's a CDM, 54 overall rated. He is 15, so I can't do anything with him at the minute. His acceleration sprint speed is looking good. He's five foot ten. He will be a decent CDM for us, without question. Looking at some of those. He's looking pretty decent. Long shots, 91. Yes, what a great find. Again, it's Dutch. He's from the Netherlands. Our other scout future star was last season, was Jensen. He's from the Netherlands. And we've got his... We've got another guy here from the Netherlands, Lorenzo van der Linden. What a great name. Va Lorenzo van der Linden. It just rolls off the tongue. Say it, guys. Say it. Van der Linden. Lorenzo van der Linden. Rolls off the tongue beautifully. So then, our scouting updates then available. The first one from Greek from Australia. Brings us back this little beast here. Looking quite good. 47 to 53. Potential 67 to 91. Ed Moore. Um... Hopefully he's not a centre midfielder. Hopefully he's a centre back. I am going to sign him up. Oli Wright we are going to reject. And Joel Bennett we are also going to reject. Harrison Hills then first assignment was in Saudi Arabia. And look at how many players he's brought back. Wow, seven players on here. Uh, judgment is in the four star. So we're going to get rid of this guy here to start off with. Oh wow, come on man. Atif, 86. Again I'm going to reject. Oh yes, El Sharam. El Sharami, El Sharani, I think that's how you say that, uh, El, Shan El Sharani, El Sharani, there's a lot of L's here boys, El Sharani, uh, overall 41 to 55, potentials 40, uh, potential 40, potential 72 to 94, sorry, uh, we're going to sign this player up, and another one here, El Manso, uh, 51 to 67, potential 77 to 94, uh, 6 foot 2, uh, I am going to sign this player up. Also, El Masari, uh, we are going to reject him. And this guy will scout for a further month. And finally then, from Scotland, three players on this list. Uh, Lewis Graham is an 83, but highest potential he can go. Rory Robertson will scout him for a further month. And also, McLean as well. So, El Shirane is a centre midfielder. So, I'm going to leave him in the Youth Academy for the time being. This guy is a left back. Um, I'm going to promote him. I'm going to promote him to the senior team. Ibrahim El Mansour, uh, where he's going to be promoted. And this Ed Moore is also the CDM. We're going to leave him in our youth academy also. And let's take a look at El Mansour then. I have already edited him, edited his appearance out. He will wear the number five shirt for now. He's got four star skill moves. Uh, three star on the weak foot, six foot two. Medium attacking work rate and medium defensive work rate. Acceleration is good, 50, 75. Got very good aggression, 74. Jumping, 76. Stamina is decent. Sprint speed, 68 also. Uh, shot power is 60. Slide tackle, 50. Stand tackle, 59. So here we go then, boys. Our first game of the new season and of the new series on FIFA 19. Would have to be against Cambridge United. You couldn't have wrote this any better. Trust me to pick a team that are playing our old, but it's just it's just worked out perfectly for us. I haven't going to. I'm not going to start the new guy. Our starting eleven is Neves, Gallo, Martins, Gill. We signed on a free transfer. Lee drops into the centre centre back from CDM. Lewis then goes into the CDM position. Taverners, Griffiths, Jackson, Jensen, Colombo, Dupont, and our new signing from the youth academy in Mansoor is on the bench. Trammy Rovers versus Cambridge United. We're playing at Ivy Lane, which is good. I didn't check if you could... I know on previous career modes where you actually selected the stadium, it wouldn't actually register in-game. I should have done that, but I'm happy with Ivy Lane anyway. It's a decent ground. Um, got the capacity. It looks like a 
it can be a Premier League ground as also. The thing that I don't like is when you have a, a ground that's very, very small and you're in the Premier League and you've just got a, like a, a 5k capacity, it just won't happen. There we go, a feature player, Diego Martinez Gill making his debut. There he is, the Spaniard, looking like he's from South Korea or somewhere. But we won't mention that, will we? Uh, no, we won't. Uh, I haven't actually done the captain either, so it's just a random boys let me know in the comment section below who you want to be captain also as well hopefully we don't drop frames i have been dropping a hell of a lot of frames hopefully it's fixed so hopefully there might be a few frames dropped here and there i apologize like i said but it's i feel like it's important that we get this career mode up and running and also we're on ultimates a difficulty you boys are going to love me getting absolutely spanked by the computers we're having some good spell of possession here jackson wants to shoot from a long distance and we've got ourselves a corner, which Jensen will take. And it goes towards the back post. It's cleared off the line by Carroll. And it was very nearly a perfect, perfect start for Tramia Rovers in this opening game of the season. Marked by Gallo. Ball's come in. Gill's not committed himself. He's done really well there. But the cross comes in and shot. Oh, my Lord. What a spectacular save by Neves. What an unbelievable save by Neves with his left hand to claw it out of the air. Whew, what a great save, man. Cross will come in. Lewis is there. Oh, he's not cleared his lines. Deegan. Shot comes in and Cambridge take the lead. Defensive error. We're going to get punished on this difficulty. 11 minutes in the game. It's Deegan that's put Cambridge United 1-0 up. The number six. It was a gift for him. Lewis didn't clear his lines. Oh, no. Oh, no. We started off really, really well. We've had one cleared off the line. And he tried to clear it. It's blocked by Green and it's a chance. And it goes into the back of the net. Neves had no chance on that this time. Manages to jump over the player as he lands. Side foot it into the top corner. Neves very close to getting it. And Cambridge take the lead. 12 minutes gone. He's offside. He's offside. Late linesman. Cross will come in. Second of deflection. Gill's in there. Does really well. Griffiths is also there to help it out. We'll find Dupont up towards Colombo. Looks to stab it over the top. Looking for the magic man in Jensen. Here he goes with his five-star skills. Does a step over. Cuts inside. Looks for runners now. Lovely ball. Here is Griffiths. Looks to line up the short. And it goes just wide. A good counter-attack from Tramia Rovers then. A lot of players involved. Griffiths couldn't wrap his foot around the ball to just curl it into the back of the net. Ball up towards Jackson. Jackson then wanting to make things happen. He He's going to be our creator in this midfield. Ball play to Colombo. He plays it out wide. Now Jensen will look to cross it in. And it goes forward. He'll play, he'll play it away. Back shot by, I think it was Griffiths. Couldn't get his foot around it. Two chances for Griffiths early on in this game. 25 minutes gone. It's still 1-0 to Cambridge. O'Neill, good ball out wide. Cambridge looking very good in possession. It's nearly ball. In the free header. It's Harrison Dunk arriving. And Nevis makes the save. Not, we're not got it clear. Get it clear, boys. Nevis called into action once more and Jackson does really well. Oh, it could and should have been 2-0 there. Good save by uh, Nevis. Here is Jensen. Jackson made the run ahead of him. Looks to find him. We're looking to counter, but I don't think he's got the stamina available. Oh, oh we're so unlucky, boys. Well, there goes the half-time whistle. Not a bad performance from Tramia Rovers. Cambridge look very good when they're in possession of the ball. Look a little bit shaky when we have possession with their positioning and stuff. So we need to capitalise that on the second half. Well done, Lewis. Well intercepted. He's having a good game, is Lewis. I know he made the mistake that led to the goal. We'll find Jackson. He's going forward. Jackson's going to strike him from distance. Goes over the bar. Very, very ambitious. Got a little bit excited, Jackson, wearing the number eight shirt for Tramia Rovers. Bang. High wide and not very handsome. Playing by Griffiths has done well. We've got Dupont making a run here. Colombo has found him. And Dupont is going bearing through on goal. Can he make it 1 1? A short block saved by the keeper. The answer will try to keep it alive with the cross. It's cleared away, but Jensen might get it. Oh, Cambridge are just playing it around the back really well. Oh, wow, they've passed themselves out of trouble there. Come on, midfield, push up. Looks to find Dupont. Good ball. No one really to aim for in the box. Dupont's done well. In it goes. Looking towards the magic man. Jensen will strike it. Won't get hold of it. 80 minutes into this game. We're just trying our hardest to get back into this tie. Here's Griffiths. Takes it over halfway. Looks for the run of Dupont. It's a great ball, and Dupont's going forward here. Dupont then looking to shoot, cross the keeper, Fors made a good save, here is Jensen, does really well to skip past that challenge, laid inside, no, he, oh, I should have shot with him, Stu. Well there goes the full time whistle, we have tasted defeat in our opening game of the new series and of the new season, it will be to the hands of Cambridge United, we had a couple of decent chances, I felt that we didn't get some of our key players involved as much as what we should have done, i.e. Jensen, but it's Cambridge that run away winners by that one goal to nil from Gary Deegan. So a bit of injury news then for you. The medical staff have cleared Lewis Cook to return from injury so he can rejoin the first team squad's training sessions. Good news.
Next game of the episode then, there is two changes into the side that will go and play Not County in Nottingham. El Mansour will come in at left back uh, and Davis will come into centre midfield. Everyone else does keep their starting place in the side. Oh, Not County play some lovely stuff here. Dennis with a shot and the goal, 1-0 up. Flies past Nevis to his right hand side. A wonderful strike from about 20 yards out. It's Dennis, the number nine for Notts County, has put them 1-0 up. Oh my lord. This ultimate difficulty is proving pretty much difficult so far, and I like it. I'm still getting used to the players, still getting used to the new gameplay. Lovely work goal by um, Notts County. From our point of view, defending, hmm, a little bit suspect. Far too much space, far too much time on the ball. Manages to place his shot with his left foot. Never has no chance. 1 0 Notts County. But he does well with the ball. Now Jackson, out wide right towards Jensen. Jensen are looking towards, towards Colombo. Colombo will shoot, and it's a bit of a weak effort. It's our first chance of the game, straight into the hands of the Notts County goalkeeper. Lewis then in towards Davis. Here is Jackson. Jackson will. Oh, he got it horribly wrong again, did Jackson. Half time. Baldwin will cross near post. That means. Oh, another good save by Neves. That's two good saves in the space of two games. Does really well to claw that out of the air, to tip it round his post. Shouldn't have been beaten Gill to the head of there. Great save. Well, there goes the half-time whistle. It is 1-0 to Notts County. It's a similar sort of game that's happened when we played Cambridge United. We're not really creating much in that first half. The ball in. Pittman, 2-0. Is it Brett Pittman? It was a good ball into the box. It has been coming, to be fair. We've been so sloppy in possession. And Pittman has doubled Notts County's lead to 2-0. Well, there goes the full-time whistle. It is a 2-0 defeat. That's two consecutive losses in a row. Oh, and without a goal to show for it neither. Nothing for our fans to set, to, to shout about. And this diffi ultimate difficulty is proving pretty much difficult. Um, when the computer has the ball, they do class it and pass it around really well. My, the, the type of style of football I like to play as well is I don't have the decent passing stats or, or con ball control just as yet. But we'll keep going, boys. We'll keep at it. It's not County 2. Tramia Rovers nil. So boys, the episode is coming to end. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Sorry the we didn't manage to get a goal or a win or anything like that. It's, it's, it is difficult, boys. It is difficult, especially playing with like 50 overall rated players as well on a new difficulty that's absolutely looks tough. It looks tough. I remember watching Curtis play his um, Macclesfield save on the PC and um, he's having a similar sort of trouble with me. I think he's scoring goals, but whereas I'm not, I'm just playing absolutely dreadful. Uh, but that's it, boys. Thank you very much for watching. If you can hit 50 likes, it would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see your beautiful faces on another video very, very soon. And goodbye.